Welcome to this introduction to us and them, Buddhism and community. I am a Buddhist. I count myself as a Buddhist myself, and my parents brought me up to be a Buddhist. I'm not sure if I'm a Buddhist. I kind of follow the teachings, but that's about it, really. Yes, I would say I was a Buddhist. There are certain elements of Buddhism I'm still questioning for myself, but I'd certainly hold a lot of the values. I'd say I'm very interested in Buddhism. I think it is important for me to be a Buddhist. It makes you a better person, being a Buddhist. I just find it more fascinating than the religion. I'm not really a Buddhist, but I just kind of stick to the teachings. Yeah, I'm a Buddhist. I would say that I'm someone who's following the Buddhist path. I definitely would label myself as a Buddhist. Sure, I'm a Buddhist. I'm definitely a Buddhist. I'm very proud of it. Buddhism is actually my life. In these materials for 12 to 16 year olds, we've taken four kinds of behaviour the Buddha taught for building community. We've linked these to modern issues of citizenship and community cohesion featuring young Buddhists in the UK and Bhutan. The Buddha taught that there is nobody in charge of this world and everybody wants to be happy. So, what's the best way to behave? Treat others with kindness, it's not just karma, it's just for your own sake, for their sake, to kind of better society. I think that's, that's an important thing, not to just live as an individual, but to live as part of a society. The materials meet national curriculum requirements for religious education and citizenship studies at key stages three and four and at GCSE. They can also be used for PSHE and geography. Although the Buddha was talking about ways to build a Buddhist community, any group of people might find the four Sangravastus helpful. In the other programmes, we will use these themes to look at some ways in which Buddhists are living helpfully bringing people together. When you buy the materials, you receive a license with login details giving you unlimited whole school access to the materials online. Us and Them is versatile and easy to use. In the teacher section, you can mark pupils' answers online and view or print your 42-page teacher's handbook. There are five main sections to these materials, which divide into ten more. Each subsection comprises a three to ten minute video, followed by questions, information sheet, activities and links. The information and links help students improve their answers before submitting them. And because the materials are online, we can keep all this information up to date for you. Who Are We? examines distinctive Buddhist ideas about the nature of self and identity. The traditional Indian word for generosity is dana. The generosity video visits three different groups of UK Buddhists and links the Buddhist practice of generosity to the topic of volunteering and the work of a Buddhist soup kitchen. It's a cold night. The service users are waiting on the street. Some of them are homeless, others may be suffering in other ways, including mental illness or loneliness. The generosity of these volunteers has brought them together. Kind Speech looks at ethical communication, including our responsibility for our reaction to what we hear from others. Activities include experimenting with silence and finding out about the Buddhist leader of the Burmese democracy movement, Aung San Suu Kyi. Benefiting Others is set in the Himalayan Buddhist kingdom of Bhutan. Teenagers there talk about their country's movement towards democracy paradoxically against the will of many people. This section touches on voting and experimentation with other forms of decision-making, given that democracy is not perfectly fair. The second part looks at the causes of happiness and the difference between wants and real needs. Finally, being an example links the Buddhist teachings of karma and conditionality to the topics of waste disposal, recycling and Buddhist activities in support of the environment. Dealing with the topic of karma or kama. It's encouraged to do good thing, whether it is a small or little thing, it doesn't matter. 
these good actions make us uh, good that is the simple mean don't don't think like it's a small thing like that smell that it smells really earthy. It smells earthy, doesn't it? So we know that's ready. And look at the colour. I mean, that's 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 black, isn't it? That colour. So it's just full of of goodness that we can give to the soil, make the soil healthy, and then in, in turn grow decent plants. Our rubbish can tell us a lot about the Buddha's teachings about karma and conditionality. Everything depends on other things and has an effect on other things. Human beings depend on each other, on animals, and a healthy environment. Together, microbes and vegetation produce compost, resulting in better fruit and vegetables. Our choices also change us. The more wisely we behave, the wiser and happier we become. Small or large, our actions mount up, changing the world, changing us.